Welcome to a short tutorial video on how to navigate and use Raytrace, Rayner's proprietary online calculator for premium IOLs that can be accessed either on a desktop or a mobile web browser. You can log on to or register with Raytrace from www.raytrace.rayner.com. From the homepage, you can select your language from the top corner. You can also access account details including adding your clinics so that you can receive continued support with IOL calculations from your Rayner sales representative or distributor partner. You can view legal notices in the bottom right corner. You can access previous patient calculations from the top menu, and you can also perform a new patient calculation. So to do that from the home page, select the lens that you're interested in. So for this example, I'm going to select Ray1 Toric, and there are options for main lens and also supplementary lenses. So now we have to enter the patient's details. So patient ID is a mandatory field and helps to ensure a clear association between the lens calculation and the patient. Hover over the patient ID for notes about this data field. There cannot be any spaces between the characters. And if a patient name is used, Rayner assumes that the patient has consented to being added to Raytrace. So in here, I'm going to add a patient ID of one, two, three, four. I now need to choose the left or right eye for the calculation. Again, this is a mandatory field. And you can also add the target refraction. If you're targeting emetropia, then please type in zero. When you're ready, click next. Now you need to add surgery details. So surgeon name is pre-populated with your account. Select the hospital or your clinic from the drop-down. If it's not listed, just click new here and you can add details for that. Adding the surgery date is optional, um, but may help with your surgery planning. Uh, and then simply click next. So for biometry, um, the required information depends on whether it's a capsular bag calculation or a supplementary lens calculation. In this case, we've selected capsular bag lens. So adding the preoperative refraction is optional. You do need to add the uh, axial length for the eye in millimeters. So I'm going to type in 24.32. For method of biometry, use the drop down to select from optical contact ultrasound or immersion ultrasound. And we go with optical. And then finally, add the anterior chamber depth in millimeters. For supplementary lenses, the only required information is the preoperative refraction. However, anterior chamber depth, surgically induced astigmatism, and incision location are also recommended for the most accurate calculation. So now we just click Next. So now you need to add your values for your keratometry. You can do this in millimeters or in diopters. For diopters, you will be asked to choose the index used by a keratometer. So now you need to enter some K readings. Uh, surgically induced astigmatism, so go with quarter for diopter, and then also indicate where I intend to make the primary incision. So an incision close to the steep axis will reduce the cylinder required on the lens. So go with 90 degrees. Now I click next. So Raytrace will now generate a selection of IOL sphere and cylinder combinations that come as close as possible to my target refraction for the patient. The patient's biometric data is displayed here on the right if you need to double check it. So across the top section, you're going to get the preloaded Ray1 options available to you. And then across the bottom section, these will be legacy loadable options available from Rayner. If a lens is marked as standard, then it should be readily available from Rayner. Lenses marked as made to order down the side have a longer manufacturing time and incur additional cost. For more information, please contact Rayner's customer service team. So at any point during the calculation, you can click across the gray bar across the top to change and check uh, your figures. 
and a green tick here indicates a completed section. You can create a PDF across the bottom, which will generate a PDF of these options available to you. Once you've found a suitable lens that you wish to order, select it once with the radio button and then click Next. On the final ray trace screen, a unique ray trace reference number is available to you here on the right hand side uh, and is essential for tracking and monitoring your IOL order should it progress. You can create a PDF or you can enter Theatre View. So Theatre View is a really useful and printable landscape page for use in the operating room. So going back to the calculation. If you'd like to go ahead with your order for the chosen lens, please agree to the conditions of sale. Little tick box here. And then click confirmation. Uh, as a note here about ordering. So please note that at this stage, your order has not been processed. Please contact the Rainer customer service team or your Rainer distributor to progress and finalize your order. You're going to be asked for your ray trace order number. Uh, so please have it at hand or include it in your email. You have now received a confirmation email with uh, details of your IOL calculation and selection. Thank you for watching this short tutorial video and we hope you found it useful.